What's up, Dirty Cones? Uh, coming to you today from uh, beautiful Riverwalk. Listening to uh, today, once again, Church of What's Happening Now, Ma- Maz Jobrani, Joey Diaz, Lee Syatt. Number 246, really good. I'm enjoying it. <clears throat> I got notes. Um, I've got props. I've got my water. I got my banana. I have my secondary because, uh, here, look. You're plugged in because, uh, as per the norm with me, the batteries never work. Uh, it's very interesting. I don't know why. It's just the way it goes. Uh, so I got a quote I want to share from my friend Robert Capco, who uh, is an excellent writer, and uh, he wrote, he's written two PJ novels, uh, the last one being uh, The Long Road Home. Uh, it's about a rogue PJ instructor who goes off to save the world. I, it wasn't written off me, <laughs> it's not even where near me, but it's a good story, and I can always appreciate a good rogue PJ uh, instructor, because there's very few of us, uh, but I, I am proud of those that do exist. So, um, oh, shout out to the new team that just started yesterday. Um, they got some good guys, got some Irishmen, got some returning cones. Uh, it should be interesting. I hope that they do well. And then 16001 just went to dive school, and uh, I don't believe anybody failed the uh, AFSOC, so that's good. And this is like a cone days of our lives, like, uh, and this is what's going on in the cone world today. Um, yeah, so, Robert Capco, check out his books, good dude, sent me this, and I really liked it. So, I remember a surfer once telling me, dude, if you say you used to surf, you never did. It's a way of life, bro. I understood and applied the term to the martial arts. If you say you used to practice martial arts, you never did. It is a way of life. You don't have to throw punches and kicks every day to live a warrior's way of life. To live with courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and an indomitable spirit. It is about awareness. Situational awareness, what's around you. Internal awareness, how does the body feel and what are you putting in it. Spiritual awareness, simply put, to embrace whatever you believe with all your heart and live accordingly. Uh, I mean, that's, I won't even comment. That says it all. That's that's what to be a PJ is all about, you know? Um, it reminds me, there's a one of my favorite surf movies called Litmus, and in the beginning, the quote's from Nat Young, and he says, I wish when they had asked me what surfing was, I had told them it was uh, a religion instead of a lifestyle. And I, I, that's pararescue. It's not uh, a career. It's a way of life. It's uh, every, it'll affect everything, and nothing will ever be the same again. And that's fine. And that's good. Um, but you never go back to being normal. And um, so you just love life and rescue people and have a good time. And uh, and then I had sent to him. Um, you know, yesterday I thought about trying this while driving, and, uh, <laughs> well, scrolling through my phone going, no, that's a horrible idea. I, I went with, I would find a nice place to park. All right, so there's that it's from my friend Robert Capco, so I'm, I'm very stoked and grateful to him for sending me that, because that was, that was pretty good. And then to him I sent, uh, from Robert Heinlein, take sides, always take sides. You will sometimes be wrong, but the man who refuses to take sides must always be wrong. Pick a direction and go. You know, just said much more eloquently. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to share that. I shared that with him, and now I'm sharing it with you. And, um, which leads us to Ronda Rousey. She, um, she, she tweeted, this, there's no condemnation, or this is like, this is what it means to be, like, really good at something and you get knocked down and you get back up this is Rocky, this is Apollo Creed this is all that kind of stuff Uh, getting back up get knocked down seven times get back up eight Um, and so Rhonda, don't be down girl you're you're good everybody loses sometimes it happens 
um, you know, but it, it's just a game, it's just a fight, it's, it's not personal, so don't take it, she did not defeat you, or your soul, or your spirit, uh, you're a fighter, you know, and <clears throat> don't let, don't let people get to you, you're, you got it, just be strong, right, so, you know, if you want, I'll go swimming with you, we'll go treading, I'll show you, uh, you know, confidence, you'll get back, you'll be like, I can breathe, hell yeah, bring it on, um, so, Rhonda, don't be down, um, oh man, some guys over there, Christmas break, sent me some super duper Kuya cone workouts, and reminded me of a couple of stuff, things that we used to do, so they were doing, uh, buddy breathing underwater, so you do your underwater, and then, instead of popping up, you put your snorkel up, and start buddy breathing, thought that was pretty good, which reminded me of when we used to do reverse underwaters, reverse underwaters are freestyle, and then underwater back, uh, those really suck, um, <laughs> and then tread bob, so you tread, and then bob, and you keep your mask and your snorkel in, and you gotta keep them both on, and, you know, clear, and, uh, yeah, tread bob's always fun, and then, um, man, can you read my own writing, <laughs> uh, so yeah, killer workouts, check them out, push yourself, just not too hard, uh, and always make sure you got a buddy, or, and, or probably also a lifeguard, uh, check out the mud guy, mud boys, mud dogs, uh, from Malibu, Malibu Underground, uh, beautiful, beautiful human, human beings who help, uh, kids with autism and other things and they take them surfing and uh their organization is called a walk on water and they do a lot of good for a lot of kids you guys see the smile on these kids faces as they're surfing down sliding down the wave with this guy you know and they're just like <gasps> it's it's magical so i mean the, the ocean cures all and then um yeah so it's been life's good you know when when you're where you're supposed to be, things just fall into place, you know, they just, and so if, if you find that you're not connecting dots, then, uh, you might not be in the right place, so I would say to you, keep looking for where you're supposed to be, fix your situation, uh, except your situation is your responsibility and nobody else's, and, uh, smile a lot. That way nobody knows that you're suffering, man. Because uh, being miserable is not so bad if you're smiling. So you got to learn to laugh at weird stuff. Because <sighs> misery is pararescue. But it's a good misery. So uh, that's all I got for today. hope you guys are awesome. Train hard. And hoo-yah.